So I had this come in finally today. Um, I've always, I wouldn't call it, say a sucker, but I, I've always had a very, very soft spot for any kind of um, uh, games workshop, board games. Um, I really, really enjoy them. And, you know, sometimes they're not the greatest rules, but I, you know, I, I played Warhammer or I collected Warhammer. That's a, a better way of putting it. <laughs> For almost like 30 years and I have so much stuff and when sets like this come out you know that the quality is going to be fantastic now I'm somebody that can't stand unboxings because it's kind of like oh wow do I really want to hear what somebody thinks about a, about cardboard oh this is a nice piece of cardboard you know and I think uh, I think they're kind of useless in a way but what I like to do is crack open a box like this <clears throat> and not so much show you what comes inside but show you basically how I'm going to go about putting it together because you get a lot of stuff in here and there's one thing with the quality of Games Workshop stuff and give me a second to put down this camera there we go and because the quality is so high and there we go and you get you get the best miniatures in the business and it's as simple as that I mean anybody that tells you any different you know either is you know the the new cool thing is to hate on on uh, games workshop because they're pricey and this that and the other but it comes with this manual and it's really really good and um, all the different warriors because this is actually out of the um, the um, I think they call it the 30k group from um, uh, Forge World so this whole, you know a, a lot of this stuff is made through there um, but this is now entering in and they're doing this board game now um, you get you have to put together quite a bit here and you can see here the ultramarines you have a squad of 10 captain and then you get five terminators with a terminator leader an old school telling the old story of the horse heresy and uh, for the word bearers uh, you get two sergeants and 20 guys and a dreadnought and their uh, leader I forgot his name but um, the story is pretty good. Uh, I was reading a bit of it. But it's a lot to put together because it's very intricate. So what I usually do, and just to show you guys, and uh, I'm going to paint all this up and then, uh, I don't know if Sam and I are going to do something with this, um, but this is actually my set. I know Sam's got a set coming. Um, we may combine sets and do something a playthrough or a review or something of it I'm not too sure but for the most part um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do mine paint it up and I'll do a paint um, a paint tutorial or basically just show you guys how I'm painting these guys but I also just wanted to show you how I go about putting together 30 Space Marines I cut all the parts I cut all the legs um, the backpacks the back body part, the front body part, and the the uh, shoulder blades. And the first thing I do is I put the entire body together. And then after that, once I get all the bodies together and glued on the bases, I'll decide what arms there are, and then I'll cut I'll cut out all the arms and glue them together. It goes pretty quickly. The real pain in the neck is just making these piles, and uh, it definitely takes a while. And um, just to show you, I mean, this looks like it's going to be a pretty fun game. It comes with a bunch of scenarios. That stuff I don't mind showing you. It's just I'm not going to show you every everything. Um, let's take a look here. Uh, you get one scenario, two scenarios. I believe White Dwarf had a couple scenarios too. Three. Here, I'll take it off camera so I can actually turn the pages. Four five six 
six scenarios and um, it tells the story the whole way and I'm not going to ruin it for you. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this together and uh, I'm going to read a bit of the rules and try to figure out how this plays out. Um, the last one is uh, the Assassin game. I actually like that one. I thought it was kind of fun. It was a good one player game. And now we got this that, you know, you know, maybe it's a, you know, a trimmed down 40k game where you can actually just play on a board a little bit and, you know, pull it out real quick and play away. Um, I just want to show you the Dreadnought Sprues. Um, pretty straightforward, so it looks like it would be something that would be easy to put together. And the Sprues for the Terminators. As you can see, there's like a million things that I've got to cut out. So these are going to take a little bit, um, especially since here's the front, the back, the legs, and then um, and you build it a certain way. And then, of course, the Heresy Captain, the leader there. And we'll have to put him together all in one spirit. But right now, I'm just kind of... Can't, concentrating strictly on the Space Marines so uh, after I get everything together um, I'll show you guys how to paint these guys up and uh, there you go uh, if you have any questions just leave them in the bottom of the uh, comment se section uh, you know any questions about putting them together or any anything like that um, I'm more than happy to do whatever it's just a uh, you know, I never complain about things. I just don't like the, unbo the unboxing videos. <laughs> hey, look what I have, but you don't. <laughs> well, with that said, that's enough uh, for today. And uh, just get ready for a ton of content this week. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.